everyone it's courageous and I'm back again with another video this one is about that money finances uh, these are four things that are hurting your budget and if you want to see what they are let's go to the video <music> Thing hurting your budget is not having a savings account that is a mistake uh, keeping all of that money in your checking account or carrying it in your wallet is dangerous lead us not into temptation to spend that money put it in a savings account therefore your money will grow there put it in a savings account your money's gonna grow there it's a way and it's an, it's gonna be accumulating interest so your money's gonna be doing its own thing while you're doing your thing with whatever money you have in your checking account i for one love online banks like ally or um i think amex has an online savings account those are great savings accounts because they offer you a higher interest rate than say your regular brick and mortar bank uh my bank account my savings account is on an, in an online bank and it's even better because say no oh, I I need a hundred dollars I need hundred I need two hundred dollars I need three hundred dollars I have to transfer it from my online bank it's not like I can go to an ATM they do have ATMs available but I'm not gonna find one I'm not gonna sit here trying to find one um, so by the time that transfer hits my account I would have resolved whatever I needed that money for or decided I didn't need that money so it's still safe there because I won't do the transfer. Um, if I need to find some extra cash, I'll, I'll find it another way than, than my savings account. So having a savings account is very, very important. Um, your money needs to grow. You need to have an emergency fund, a vacation fund, put it in a savings account. Um, if you have the <laughs> financial stability that you can afford to put it in a CD, even better, lock it away. Um, so you're not spending it and you're not hurting your budget. Uh, so always put that in your budget. Whatever you budget for your savings, even if it's $10, put it in the budget. Um, I don't know if you've heard of a zero balance budget where every single dime that you get gets allocated. So savings needs to be one of those categories. So number two. And this one is a two-parter and I like to call the category impulses so number two part one <laughs> impulses part one which is cravings I'm not naive we all have our weaknesses my weaknesses before I went vegan it was chocolate uh, now currently it is chips um, and sunflower seeds that I, I crave the salt so I do you like to splurge? Okay, and that's perfectly fine. If you like to spend, you know, if you if you like to snack and you and, and you have your cravings, or alcohol or whatever, budget that. We get out of control, um, and we need to meet our our budget restrictions. So if I know I like my chips, I'm gonna budget ten dollars for chips, and I'm gonna be smart about it. I'm not gonna go buy it at Seven Eleven where it's two dollars. I'm gonna go to Walmart or go to Dollar general or something where I know it's cheaper and I'm just gonna incorporate it into my grocery shopping so I'm not hurting my budget by giving in to my cravings but I'm still getting my cravings <laughs> so number two part two so impulses part two and this goes along the, the line of, of again um, of spending uh, splurging it's your money. I know you want to spend it. I know you want to treat yourself. Well, put it in the budget. If you know you're a shopaholic, okay, well, one way to not hurt your budget is allocate a certain amount of money for fun. I, I have an account. It's called the pleasure fund. So anything that goes into that account is for my pleasure and my pleasure only. But I'm going to budget that. So let's say... I want to go splurge at the mall and buy myself something nice. I'm gonna spend, I'm gonna say, oh, for July, I'm only gonna spend $200 or $100. At least you have the the blueprint and of, of what you wanna spend and you're not gonna go over that. You may, but try not to, obviously, because then that 
would be hurting your budget. But if you don't have an, a set amount that you you want to spend, you're gonna spend unnecessary money, or you're just gonna go go crazy and spend instead of oh well I didn't I didn't say I had a limit to my to my spending, so I'm gonna go spend a thousand dollars, and before you know it, two thousand are gone. So it's like at least. I know you're gonna splurge. I know there's impulse buys, but at least you can check. Hey, well, I've already I've already spent like this much. So instead of getting this, you know, this expensive dress and this top, let me just get the top. So it's a way to control yourself better in your spending um, by keeping track of where you're where you're at on your impulses. Ooh, my, why am I dropping everything? So like, ew, I went a little overboard last weekend treating myself. Let me let me take it easy. Let me let me go for a cheaper option where I can still treat myself, but it's not gonna be as pricey. Uh, so number three uh, is also a two-parter, <laughs> and this one I like to call denial. Yes, it's not just the river in Africa. It's denial. Denial part one. Acting like you're a baller <laughs> going around throwing all all this money making it rain and not remembering or or remembering and ignoring the fact that the rent is due next week uh, that's hurting your budget because you're spending all this money everywhere and then now you have to scramble to find money for the rent or for the light bill or for the gas bill etc etc uh, so how about <laughs> you check yourself before you continue to wreck yourself and stop acting like you're a millionaire or a billionaire and pay attention to your finances. Make sure you're keeping track of what you're spending and, and stick to the budget. Like I said, you can allocate for the fun stuff, for the spend, but don't go overboard. Once you hit that limit, stay your ass home. <laughs> I'm sorry say that's all go to the park it's free to go to the park and 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 pay attention to what needs to because then when you're short for the rent next week what are you gonna have to do you're gonna have to dip into your savings account and oh there goes your savings account and god forbid you have an emergency your car breaks down oh damn now your savings is gone now you're really stuck and then that's what leads to the credit cards that's what leads to the the borrowing and that's what we're trying to avoid so stop acting like you're a baller shot caller and get out of denial just admit <laughs> I'm not rich bitch <laughs> just keep track and stop trying to and, and stop ignoring the bills you have to pay next week it's it's almost the end of the month so next is denial part two and this one goes along the, the lines of acting like you're a baller, is keeping up with the Joneses, or the Smiths, or the Martinez's, or the Rodriguez's, or the Santana's. Stop. <laughs> Me, for example, I was a single mom of two kids for a long time. I'm engaged now, but, and, I'm, and I, still, I still operate under that same mentality. I call myself the broke friend. <laughs> I'm broke and I'm not trying to keep up with anybody if you know that your budget does not allow for you to go to a five-star restaurant for I'm spending all this money stop trying to keep up with your friends be frank with them listen me plenty of times I tell hey come over to my house come over for dinner I love cooking so I'll cook for you <laughs> and and that's and that's how you still get to spend time with your friends, but you're not over here overspending what you can't even afford to spend in the first place. I am not of the same financial means as this person, so that doesn't mean I'm not gonna end my I'm gonna end my friendship with that person. No, that just means that okay, well I'm gonna set this one out, guys. Have fun, yeah. And oh oh, this person posted, especially with social media, it's horrible. Um, what it can do to certain people. Me, I. I'm not materialistic. I hate I, I hate conspicuous consumption in every single way. So I I but I, I do understand that social media can do that to people. Especially I see my son, he's 12, he wants harachis. I didn't even know what the hell a harachi was, <laughs> to be honest. But it's just you're keeping up with the Joneses. Well, they posted this Louie on, on Instagram. Oh well on Facebook they posted this and, and it's like you wanna you wanna keep up? Don't. 
because material things don't make you happy anyway uh, and you don't want to mess up your budget and like I said the rent is due soon <laughs> so stop trying to keep up with them because you don't know what their financial situation is like you don't know what their budget is like or if they even have a budget and they're breaking it um, so get out of that denial you don't need to keep up with anybody you need to keep up with yourself stay above board get ahead save money and and then allocate for the splurging instead of just wrecking your whole budget because you're trying to fill people's eyes with oh look at me look at me and meanwhile your light bills you know you just got that shut down notice on your light bill <laughs> so number four and the final one so that we can keep this video short is not having a budget at all what are you crazy how are you supposed to know where your money goes if you're not keeping track of it you're gonna be broke forever that's broke mentality you're you need to know where it's going and even smarter you need to tell it where to go <laughs> my budget I make a budget every month and my budget consists of I hand draw it because I, I just like drawing and writing it. It's, it makes it better. It makes me feel more in control of my, my spending. Um, but you need to tell your money where to go. Oh, two hundred dollars? Oh, hey, wait, where do you think you're going? No, 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 no. You're going over here. This is where you're going for. This is what you were rent for. This is your job. Oh, six hundred dollars. Uh, uh, uh. Stop right there. Come over here. Here, this is your spot right there. Tell your money where it's supposed to go. Because if not, you're not going to have any control. You're not going to be the boss. You're not going to have any authority. And you're going to be broke. So tell your money where it needs to go. Have a budget. If you don't have a budget, you're not going to have any money. Uh, there are so many ways to keep track. I keep track physically and digitally. I have, I use the Spendy app, which I put, I, if I'm, if I spend a penny, I put it in my app. And then what I do, I have my physical budget, which is I have the list of items and the amount allocated for it. I'll, I'll probably put the picture of 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 a temp of my template for for you guys because I not only do I list it, I also have the calendar and I write for every week what's coming in, what's coming out, what day it's coming out, and I have notes. So I'll put the I'll put the budget. Um, my budget template and what I do at the end of each month I compare the app and the physical budget just because I like to double check my work and just to make sure it balances out but like I said not having a budget that's probably that should be the number one mistake the top mistake you're that's ruining your budget is not having one in the first place so let's get money smart keep our money in our pockets or <laughs> let's just get smart uh, so that was just my quick take on that uh, please be sure to like comment share subscribe <laughs> uh, and come back again next week for more videos this is courageous stay brave